Hello Maths fans, I'm here in Cambridge at the Mathematical Bridge, which you can see behind me, which is part of Queen's College, which is the college where I completed my PhD. I'm about to set off on day one of my epic journey, running all the way from Cambridge to Oxford, over two days, over a weekend. Total distance is going to be 127 kilometers, 61 kilometers today, 66 tomorrow, it's going to be tough. I'm going to be recording the whole thing, giving you a bit of a video diary. So let's see how I get on. The first leg of day one took us from Queen's College, Cambridge, where I was based from 2012 to 2016 during my PhD, to the village of Bassingbourne come Neesworth. The total distance covered was just over 21 kilometres, with an average pace of 5 minutes 12 seconds per kilometre. Stop number one, 21.3 kilometers in, about 40 to go. Pretty tired, not gonna lie. Sad of Lucas Aid Sport, banana, a few protein bars, got my water, stocking up, ready to go. Legs are already a bit sore, knees in particular are starting to ache, but uh, yeah, for some reason I'm the one who decided to do this. So uh, one third down, 40 more K to go today. Wish me luck. For leg two, we left Bassingbone come Neesworth to head to Letchworth Garden City. This leg covered a further 20 kilometers, and as expected, the average pace dipped a little to six minutes and 32 seconds per kilometer. Yeah, and when she said, when she was at uni or whatever, she loved running through her field of wheat. K down, kind of dying, not gonna lie, that was tough. Uh, hit about 
hit a very much hit a wall at 30k. Had to walk for a little bit. Didn't help that it was a massive hill. Uh, got over that, then my knee started hurting. So we're struggling with that now. So we just stopped at Morrison's, got a load of deep heat, uh, knee bandage, some ibuprofen. I'm gonna take all that, see if I can power on through. But that's two thirds of the way down for today, leg two done, 40K down, 21K to go. It's gonna be tough. Uh, <laughs> I hate to see what I'm gonna be like at the end, but I guess you'll all find out in a couple of hours. But we've been going now for a good, sort of four hours, four and a half hours. So it's hard work, it's hard work. See you soon. The third and final leg of day one covered the remaining 20 kilometers from Letchworth to the outskirts of Luton and the travel lodge where we were staying for the night. Our average pace was six minutes and 36 seconds per kilometer. We're here, as you can see, I've made it. 61 kilometers, <laughs> took us about seven to eight hours. It was tough, it was very, very, very tough. Um, the, the first leg, the first 20K was fine. Uh, 20 to 40 was, was where I really struggled, to be honest. There was a lot of hills, sun was out, middle of the day. Um, definitely had to walk a couple of those Ks. Um, then we refueled, had a load of protein bars, load of coconut water, Lucas A Sports. Got going again uh, and managed to get there, 61 kilometers, completed in day. And this is just day one. So day two tomorrow is gonna be 66. Gonna be uh, obviously uh, even harder. <laughs> Can't really feel my legs right now. So uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna be tomorrow morning. We, we uh, I guess I'll record tomorrow morning how I'm feeling when I wake up. We'll see how that one goes. But yeah, 66 to go tomorrow, which will be day number two. Uh, we're currently staying just outside of Luton. Um, and then the final leg, obviously, tomorrow will take us into Oxford, the home leg, uh, for the big victory as I finally end at St Edmund Hall. But uh, yeah, day one has been very, very difficult. So honestly, I need all the luck you can possibly send me to get through day two. Right, day two. Ready to go, had a nice sleep, fully replenished, bananas, Nutri-Grain bars, LucasAid Sports, all in me. Legs were absolutely dead yesterday. Ran myself a cold bath, jumped in that. Not the most pleasant experience, but the legs seem to be a little bit better, better than I was expecting. So I'm feeling positive. 
66 kilometers to go. Leg number one is about somewhere between 15 or 28, depending on where we stop. So I guess you'll find out shortly just how far we get in that first leg. Kicking off day two, we travelled from the outskirts of Luton through to the town of Aylesbury, 28 kilometres away. Surprisingly, given the effort expended on day one, the average pace was a respectable 5 minutes and 47 seconds per kilometre. Love for that. Oh, dear. Whew. Leg one done. 28 kilometers. The longest of any of the legs we're doing over the whole two days. The longest today by far. It was tough. I'm going to say it wasn't as bad as I was expecting after yesterday. And as you may have heard me say this morning, I was expect I didn't think I'd be able to move, but it, it was it was all right. Slow and steady, sort of a good three hours or so. Um, taking us from the outskirts of Luton where we stayed last night to now we're in Aylesbury. Uh, so we had a good canal leg, about 10k or so down the canal, which was nice at first because it was flat, but then it got a bit boring to be honest. It's nice to get that change of scenery. But 28k's down, just refueled, restocked, had a bit of lunch. Um, and yeah, so 30, 38 to go. 38 to go today. So almost, it feels like we're almost halfway, which is really nice actually. Very much towards that home leg. So yeah. As always, wish me luck. Leg two was the shortest of the entire run at only 15 kilometers as we moved on from Aylesbury to the village of Long Crendon. The average pace this time was six minutes and 57 seconds per kilometer. Stop number two, 43 kilometers down today. So that's just over a marathon. Tired and the shop's closed, which is not ideal. Fortunately, we had a few, uh, still had a tracker bar in my pocket and we've got a few cookies and uh, managed to find a tap to get some water. But I've been running on Lucas Aid Sport to this point. So we've got another 13K or so until the next stop. So it doesn't really help for the last 25 to go. No, 23 to go. Can't, can't even do maths, I'm that tired. There you go. 
23, 23K to go, just over half a marathon. Got another stop in about 13 or so, so get to that. Suck up on Lucas Aid for the final blast. See how I'm doing in a, about another 10, 13K. The next leg was so bad that I actually forgot to film. Although we did manage to cover the next 14 kilometers to the village of Wheatley, but with the slowest average pace yet at seven minutes and 24 seconds per kilometer. Right, final stop, 57 kilometers down, nine to go. Honestly, really struggling. Felt like I could cry at various points in that last leg. That was by far the toughest. I'm glad we're near the end. Uh, I think that shot being closed hurt me a lot more than I realized or wanted to admit, but really, really, really tough. The final nine kilometer leg covered the home stretch to St. Edmund Hall, Oxford, and was completed with an average pace of six minutes and 38 seconds per kilometer. Nearly, hey, hey. finish almost there, uh, almost there, uh, nearly there. As you can see, that is indeed St. Edmund Hall. Teddy Hall Oxford behind me, which means we made it. 127 kilometers in two days from Queen's College, Cambridge to St. Edmund Hall Oxford. Honest to God, the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm never doing it again. I might never run again. <laughs> Don't know why I come up with these terrible ideas, but we made it. So thank you everyone for your good wishes. I'm sure, no doubt, they carried me through to the end. Thanks.